Are you struggling with the damage of your electronic goods because of this power outrages and voltage fluctuations? Hello everyone, I am Tanmay Mehta, your home technology consultant at Touchwood Automations and in this video, we are going to talk about three ways in which you should safeguard your products so that you don't have to shell out more money on the repair part and this applies specifically for the home theater amplifiers, your projectors and the TV displays. Now before I begin, I want you all to subscribe to my channel right here right now because your subscription encourages me in continuing all these videos which are helping each one of you make better, well-informed and correct decisions when it comes to buying anything and everything in home technology industry. Now, it was not a while ago that I have actually created a video saying that how you need to replace this set-top box with 5 apps. Now, those of you who haven't checked that video, make sure to use the link above and check this video because it is going to be an important video for you after watching this particular video. Now the reason why I am talking about this device is because this is the first device which is you know not just I'm, and I am not blaming, blaming Tata Sky here because like Tata Sky your Airtel Extreme or any other local carrier like Hathaway or any other you know DTH service provider is one of the biggest damaging device for your home theater equipment. Now why is that so? Well this device works on an AC power supply that makes the product very very vulnerable during these power surges and these products when connected via HDMI cable to the amplifier or to the TV or to the projector are going to spoil not just the HDMI cable but they are also going to spoil the HDMI port of your devices. Now we had done another video wherein we spoke about how one client faced a massive loss with all his HDMI ports getting burned and that is exactly what will happen with you if you don't follow the three ways that I am going to tell you now. So the first way is basically obviously when there is rain when you are facing a lot of power fluctuations is to turn off all the equipments in your house especially the audio video or any high power device and not just turn off them with the remote but you need to also shut the main switch of those devices. So that's the very first way in how you can safeguard this basically uh, you know home theater equipments and avoid using these particular devices during that times. The second method of safeguarding your devices during power surges or during you know voltage fluctuations is to buy a surge protector which is reliable which is good enough to, to safeguard your product and not give them you know surges during these times and basically give them a continuous good constant supply of power which is required for these devices in their health. Now I have recommended the brand that I recommend in this particular power surge is Belkin because Belkin has got good insurance cover or warranty cover on their products and they start with 4 sockets, 5 sockets, 6 sockets, 8 sockets so they have multiple devices and all those products are insured by, uh, by Belkin so let's say if you are connecting any devices to it Belkin gives you a warranty cover of let's say 30,000, 20,000, 15,000 rupees based upon the number of sockets which means and this is a lifetime cover by the way so don't miss out on this particular products because this is something which will give you a better lifetime guarantee on the products which are connected to their power surge protectors. Now the third device which I recommend all of you to have or rather must have in your home cinema room or in connecting your home cinema devices is this HDMI surge protector. Now I don't know if you can read this HDMI surge protector just the way your power surge protector was there that we spoke about just a minute ago similarly hdmi cable as we all know that is high definition or high you know high definition multimedia interface cable is today a necessity in the digital you know home cinema market and hdmi is a cable which is like a must have for connecting all your equipments in a theater room but what happens is when you use hdmi cables it not just transfers the data signal but it also carries a little bit of power supply along with it and that is why it has got a copper shielding. Now I know there are optical HDMI cables also nowadays av available but we are not going to come there. HDMI cables these are like small running cables which are 1 meter, 1 and a half meter connecting from your DTS box to your main amplifier and these HDMI surge protectors need to be installed between these two connections so let's say when you have your HDMI cable coming out from the Tata Sky setup box 
Now, before you put it in the input of your amplifier, you have to put it inside this particular surge protector. And there is a grounding that is given to this particular surge protector, which has to be connected to the main earthing or probably to the ground of your amplifier. And using this, it will basically control the surge that will come through the HDMI cable. And that is where it will safeguard your amplifier a lot ways better than what your regular connection would do. Now the second area where you also need this HDMI surge protector is let's say if you are carrying an output signal from the amplifier to the projector. Now before you connect that particular cable HDMI cable to the projector is where you need another device of this HDMI surge protector so that it can safeguard your projector's HDMI port as well. Now why am I doing this video is cause as we all know we have been facing a lot of frames currently in Maharashtra and I know Hyderabad as well. And in such areas with these rains, you will see a lot of power outrages and you will see a lot of voltage spikes. And during such times, we have been flooded with so many service calls that customers are just not able to understand that why is my, you know, audio is coming out from my amplifier, but I'm not able to see picture. What should I do? Well, the reason why that is happening is because your HDMI port of the amplifier or your AVR is being burned out or it's not working. And that is the reason why you need these HDMI surge protectors before you connect the cable from this DDR services to this particular up to the amplifier. You need this as the mediator. And as you, we have more, many customers who have also been facing this challenge. And after a thorough research, we realized that all you need is these three ways. A, turn off all the equipments, including these DTH setup box, because these are the biggest damages of your home cinema system. The second way is using surge protectors like Belkin and the third way is to using this HDMI surge protectors. Believe me guys, I know if you are, you are spending your hard earned money in this home cinema room investment, but when these devices go for a toss due to these power surges, the amount of money that you will have to pay on the repairs of these HDMI panels is beyond 15,000 rupees for a regular 60, 50,000 rupees budget area. Similarly, if it's for a projector, it's also going to go way beyond costlier than this. And for that reason, it is very, very critical that you all take that important step of applying these three ways that we just discussed in ensuring that you safeguard your health as well as the product's health. Cause any sort of spike is not just going to damage your equipments, but it is also going to bring a spike in your wallets. So please ensure that you don't do that mistake. And if you want to buy this product, I'm going to share a link in the set, uh, in the description, as well as in the comment section, you can probably use that link to buy those products available, which are there on amazon.com or dot in. And before we exit, I would want to know what sort of problems you have had in during these power surges and what were the remedies that you did by which your problem was solved. And for those of you who have already used these things or they have used, let's say a power conditioner, I would want to know what was your feedback on those products and are they able to solve your problem as well. Now, I hope that this video helps you all in making better, well-informed and correct decisions when it comes to buying anything and everything in home technology industry. Like always, keep sharing and keep liking our videos. And I, Tanmay Mehta, will take your leave and see you all in my next video. Thank you.